Good morning, Collect Chapter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of the Yizang iDrone i4s. Now the i4s includes a 2 megapixel 720p HD video camera. Um, there are other micros out there uh, of this size that have uh, HD video cameras, but supposedly this one here is much more stable. We're going to find out here shortly. Looking at the quadcopter, <laughs> it is pretty sharp looking, I got to admit. Um, excuse me, folks, I had a lot of coffee today, so you are going to see some jiggling of this. But uh, it runs on a 380 milliamp per hour battery, very widely available that you can use with this, or even smaller, a little bit larger. Right? You can even go probably up to 400 milliamp per hour. Um, other than that, you know, with white low seat connectors. Other than that, again, it is a basic uh, micro-sized quadcopter with a camera. Um, what I did like is it came with the SD card and SD card reader. A lot of the, the manufacturers these days are not including the SD card SD, and the SD card reader, uh, which are necessary items. I don't know why they don't do that, but this one comes with it, which is great. Looking at the controller, this is the iDrone controller. Um, all of the buttons are labeled with symbols, which is good. It's better than words. It helps you um, figure out, especially if for non-English speaking people or non-Chinese speaking people, use symbols. That way it's universal uh, throughout the world can understand it. Uh, this one here, plus minus S sign, that tells you right away, you know, that's probably the rates, you know, for beginners and expert. And the one with a camera is probably a photo, and that is, that's where you take a photo. The one with a little video camera is probably for starting your video camera, so, and that is. And the one with the uh, two arrows, rolling arrows, tells you that's probably your flip button. Down here, this button here is probably your, with the compass, is probably, and is, your headless mode, one key return. And the button here with a, a light symbol, you know, like the sun, is your lights. You can turn them on and off to save power. The trim buttons, pitch roll trim buttons, are actually pitch roll trim buttons. And you have an on-off switch and a light. You also have indicators telling battery power of your transmitter, although I don't think it's very accurate. I know these batteries are, are full power, but it's showing that they're half power. And also what uh, rate you're in. Right now I'm in 50%, 75 and 100%. So you have three rates. We're going to start off with beginner's 50% rate. So let's do it. And the trim buttons are all centered. We will fire this up and get off right away and demonstrate its camera. That's one of the first things we do. Actually, one of the first things we do, we want to see if it has flyaway potential. Put the quadcopter down. Turning on the transmitter, binding it. Get a little power and turning off the transmitter. 1001, 1002. So it will drop within two seconds. No flyaway issues there. Turning on the trans or binding again. And that will be our headless mode bearing. And we'll start the video camera now. And you get a little video signal showing that the video camera is running. See how stable it is. Turning it toward me. Hi. <laughs> Okay, let's go up by the lights, or near the lights. Okay, so overall it seems to be somewhat stable. I don't want to land on top of the lights. Okay, so that's its range there. It had a little drop at about 60 meters, I'm guessing. Another little drop out there. And let's do a high speed run. Well, I don't want to go too far because of that little drop out there I was noticing. Demonstrating the camera. That's what I'm doing right now. Nice smooth flyer. Hello again. There's my dog here. I'm in the shade there watching me fly. <laughs> okay. So again, this might be a nice little camera bird for those interested in a camera bird. 
and easily take along camera bear too because this controller is nice and small and that quadcopter is nice and small. So if you want to get aerial video on a picnic or something or, or something, throw in your backpack quadcopter with a HD camera, yeah, this might be for you. You might like it. Showing the area. And again, its range though is limited. It's only about 30 meters, 40 meters, I'm guessing. But it is a micro, so don't expect superior range. Okay, that's its camera. Let's turn off the camera. We'll land that real quick. Turn off the camera. Now we want to demonstrate its flipping ability and one key return, headless mode, and all that stuff. <laughs> Going back up again, going to headless mode. That was one key return. Let's go back out again. Okay, we're headless mode now. I can hear the beeping. So what it does first off when you press the headless mode button is it does a one key return. Let's come out of headless mode again. Going down and I'll show the one key return again. One key return. So it does a one key return and enters headless mode at the same time. And then when you push the pitch, pitch roll stick, it'll be it'll remain within headless mode until you turn off the headless mode button. So we're out of headless mode. Turning those lights off too to save some power. Do we still have time for flips? Let's find out if it can do flips. Yeah, there's a flip. Left flip. Forward flip. Right flip. Okay, there's the flips. Let's go to higher rates and see what, how it performs. This is 75%, right? 100%. You can feel a little bit of weight because of the camera. Also the battery. Yeah, it's the camera. The camera is somewhat heavy for it, so it's not a super aggressive flyer. But I guess it's not really meant to be intermediate right now. That was high rate. This is intermediate rate. It can do that kind of funnels at intermediate rate. And the battery's about gone. Okay. Yeah, the lights are blinking. So that's the flight time you get, you know, with recording. Uh, not a long range flyer. Not a highly aggressive flyer, but it's not meant to be. It's a camera bird. Hopefully that video came out nicely. We'll find out here in post-production. So, again, this is the iDrone i4S. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.